Now then, and welcome back to another episode of the Cobble Dots Forever Stranded. Hello, my name's Hector. <laughs> this is Nemson. <laughs> this is Nemson over here. Hi, that didn't work according to plan, did it? No, no, Hi, it is fine. Welcome, it, welcome back. Yeah, we're, we're here. We're here. Back. Back in the mix. How's it going, Nemson? It's going good. It's going good. It's going good. Uh, I see we uh, mask buddies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wearing the same mask. I think I've so. seen a, a fair few of the cobble noughts wearing the uh, the old eerie mask. It's the new the new fashion, as as well as the slime boots as well. That seems to be the new thing. Slime boots and jetpacks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We've got we very much follow the same fashion. It's got to be said. Um, now yeah. we are we are of of ill when it comes to that. But you've you've not picked up your your present yet, have you? Yeah, Valen of uh, Mischief of the Mice has yep. um, left me a Nemson of the Shire <laughs> pickaxe. Yep. I presume it's all just the same as everybody else's. I I, I think mine's mine's uh, like it says Ector's gift on it, so I presume yours says Nemson's. Mine says Nemson's gift. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I've not shown my my peeps this either yet. Um. How, it's supposed to be used in the offhand. Yeah, so if you put it in your offhand, you can... Although mine, Which, my offhand is kind me, of going weird at the moment. I don't know why. Like, it's cycling through other rubbish. But, if yeah, if you put it in your offhand, it, it feeds. It feeds you. It just... How does it feed you? It's tasty. Is yeah, that what it's, it is? <clears throat> yeah, which I, I think is the, the pig iron. Yeah, apparently. Okay. Which so is amazing. I never... Yeah, I, n I never realised that. So it's basically feeding you bacon while you're working. Yes, that, it keeps. That is some you... awesome stuff. I know, and and it's it's like it gives you XP for pretty much mining almost anything. Except you need to put it in the other hand to mine anything. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, okay. How fast is it? That's the next question. It's pretty. It's pretty fast. Oh. Another, and to get XP for it, that's yeah, awesome. I know it's it's ridiculous. So everyone, definitely go check out uh, Mischief of Mice, and Valen will, I'm guessing, be showing how he kind of <laughs> made this amazing thing. Oh, oh, oh! We're being attacked. The little thing. What the size of that sword? Oh yeah. Well, it's uh, just a cleaver. Uh, the, is it the Tinker's cleaver? Yeah. Is it? Oh yeah! Oh it's wow! It's twice as big. It's twice as big as a normal man. Oh yeah! Look at that! That I've not actually uh, seen that. <laughs> and, and some men are bigger than others, but that is twice as big as a normal man. Ah uh, yeah! I'm not compensating. I promise. Not overcompensating. Mm, yeah. This, this little battle axe. I thought this battle axe was going to be big enough, but it's just a little <laughs> tiny <Yeah>. thing. <laughs> Got <That> something. Is... <laughs> Final Fantasy VII battle yeah. sword going know, on there. It's. I'm sure it's not normally that. Like huge, is it? The, um... Well, well, <laughs> I don't know who to ask. <laughs> I don't know how to put that question. Uh, is it normally this big? <laughs> is it supposed to be that big? Uh, oh, but so what? What's the plan today, anyway, <clears throat> Ecto? We're together for a reason. The, the viewers know we are. We're here together. We are. I, I mean, I, I'm guessing our our respective titles and thumbnails might have uh, given the game away slightly, as it always a does. Clue. Yeah. Bit of a clue there before you started clicking. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. But uh, we're we're here to kind of sort this mess out. So last episode, last episode, I I spent a lot of time getting this thing here, um, which is a tier five with a skeleton soul shard. Bum, oh, look bum, at bum. That. Oh, one thousand two hundred and. Four kills. Wow. Yeah, and but I, I, I only did half. Of, quest. Blah, blah, blah. I, I only did half of that because I uh, I used a vile sword, and that counts for that counts for two basically. So every time you kill something with it, you get two okay. kills. So it's a little bit better, but yeah, I killed about five hundred mobs using a a resturbed spawner from extra utilities and your own um, your own little kind of uh, mob farm as well that you kind of set up. Well, that mob farm over there yielded the six uh, wither skulls that I needed to make that. Ah, yes, the, uh, that's a great thing. I've got a blaze one at the moment. I I made myself a blaze one, um, just 
just for kind of flying around in the nether because they're the they're the worst. The blazers, I think they are generally the worst. I've now got all of the nether creatures that we can get yeah. on my charm belt, so I'm virtually immune to immune to everything apart from those little fiery uh, cubes that yeah. jump around and yeah. catch you out unawares. The invisible things, yeah. And the juggernauts. Oh, the juggernauts are still a bit of a problem. <laughs> like, they are. They, they are not nice. Um, fortunately, though, I have now got these arrows of doom, and I just shoot one at distance, and he dies in sixty seconds. Ah, that's pretty good. I need to. I haven't kind of really sorted out my uh, my long range. I've I've been messing around with the revolver. Uh, that looks awesome. But that that it, does look awesome. It's a, definitely it's, not overcompensated with that one. <laughs> it's it's a bit rubbish though. Like it's just not as uh-huh. good as you want it to be. Like I don't know, um, a bit of a shame. I kind of wanted to use it, but it's just not that good. It's just not that good. They they do tend to do that, though, don't they? They don't tend to be the cannons you expect them to be. Yeah. And then your your normal <laughs> Minecraft bow could do twice as much, twice yeah. as fast. Yeah. So it's like, well. I kind of want it to use it, but yeah, exactly. I think bows are just better, so mm-hmm. uh, we'll be doing that. Uh, but anyway, today we're going to be putting <laughs> this mob grinder thing into full-on practice, um, yeah. going over all the different processes of mob grinding utilities. Exactly. Um, yeah. And your soul shards spawner is going to go in here somewhere yeah i'm guessing it'll, it'll go in the middle we might you know need to prettify this up a little bit because i kind of we'll figure that out yeah, yeah exactly i thought it might be nice to see a little bit of what's going on inside just so you can easily see um but then this tons and tons. this Kelly. mob masher Kelly. is amazing Kelly. um like i've upgraded it i've kind of added beheading smite and looting so we should be getting a lot of loot from this so, so it's it's fairly inexpensive, really, as it goes. The, a lot yeah, of iron. Yeah, yeah. It's like the the upgrades Three diamonds. are a little bit of a pain to make, um, because you kind of like the the beheading ones take each one takes two gold helmets and two iron helmets to make, along with some other stuff. So it's like a little bit of a pain to make like that, but it's right. it is really it is relatively cheap. Yes, the mod. The uh, look upgrade, just blue dye, just lapis blue dye type stuff. And the mob masher upgrade is really simple. It's just that beheading one. Yeah, that's a little bit, yeah. But then you are working on the fact that plus 10 beheading on this mob masher will get us loads and loads of wither schools really, really quickly. Oh, yeah, yeah. This will be, I think, we'll have... in. Pretty soon, as soon as we turn this farm on, we'll have more than we know what to do with. Um, awesome. But, you know, why awesome. not? Why not? Uh, and is there anything else as part of this plan that we need to show the viewers before we go and make it look up pretty? Um, I don't think so. I think hopefully we'll we'll try and kind of sort something out with the storage so that all the kind of loot goes in a kind of nice chest area. And we'll probably have to... We'll have to come up with a way because this... We tend to get a lot of armor drops... So we'll have to figure out a way to kind of filter those out, probably. Hmm. I, I think we should just put an ender chest that all our loot goes into the ender chest apart from the heads and then send the ender chest over to the other mob farm that system made where he's already got it filtered. <laughs> <laughs> just let it let it all filter out over there because all the other stuff, all the bits and pieces can go and be stocked away in the voided off chambers over there. Ha- have, has this all been filtered for... Uh, he's got a lever on the thing here where he empties out the crate by hand to start off with. Oh, yeah, but look, look at this. Bit. This actually... And it's oh, yeah. and it's filled up. It's on again. I thought the light meant that it was off. Yeah, I think that Bob means it's farm, off. Off when light is on. Yeah, so but, it's off right now. But it's stuff going. There and is, it isn't... needs... Flip the lever is to empty it out, I believe. Uh, we've got loads and loads of enchanted stuff going on over this side as well yes so we all have, these yeah. enchanted stuff there's far too many it's a backlog isn't it yeah exactly so, so I, don't, I don't think it'll matter click oh, in no. the lever just once no no i think i i was just gonna avoid everything um like all the all the kind of armor stuff i was just gonna make it so that we had a storage drawer for everything pretty much and then just void everything else that we get okay yeah just a bit like the uh, mob farm over at the <clears throat> fortress yeah i'll just bring that over yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Well, that's easy enough. Yep. We shall uh, be back in a bit. Yep. So Nemson, Nemson is about to show me how he's getting the chickens. Uh, I come over here and I get an egg and I throw it. The... No, that's not what came first, the chicken or the egg. <laughs> in the nether, the chicken comes first. Right, okay. Uh, but it was from seeds, okay? Yeah. If you take two seeds yeah. and place them together in your crafting grid. Oh, yeah. Oh, chicken bait. Ah, okay. And then you come over to a water source, which we shouldn't have in the nether, but we do. Yeah, yeah. So this is a bit cheaty because we had a village spawn. Yeah. Yeah. It requires a single block of water. Right. Yeah. Uh, and I'm not sure how you could possibly do that without the mishap that we had from Lucky Blocks. Yeah, well, I don't think so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but you place it down on some place in range of the water with 10 blocks of its natural environment around it. And 10 blocks of its natural environment is grass. Ah, so right. we've got grass and water, so you just place it somewhere there and it'll give you a little mark, a message. Oh, yeah, yeah. This this bait will work in this environment. Move out of range so you don't scare the animals away. Right, okay. Range is uh, a 10 by 10, and you have to be without side of a 6 by 6, I believe. Okay. So as long as you're six blocks away, you should see that it's got some like um, smoking yep. element to it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that infernal enchanter. So, so, some noise over here. What's going on? The fireballs and stuff. Is this actually on? This is actually on. So, well, how long, how long does it take normally? It didn't take that long for me. It took a little while. Of course. It, it took a little while. But now, of course, we're watching it. It's taking forever. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, the, another thing, another thing is it's not supposed to have uh, more than two other animals in the vicinity because that also scares it off. Okay, right. And... 20 minutes of your episode just spent watching the seeds on the ground of course. while listening to the windmill going round and round. <laughs> uh, but there's there's that for when I got it. Ah, excellent. It up, yeah, yeah. But it's almost safe. Not, not made one of these yet. So does that mean we could potentially kind of level up to um, the angel ring now as well? Uh, if we can do a squid. Ah, yes. So that might be <laughs> We need a squid now. There is a water... There is a, but I need ten blocks of water to in, or, uh, in order to summon a squid. Right. So yeah, probably not then. No, unfortunately not. I could, and summoning a bat is not possible either. Yeah, I, f I figured we, that might be gated out. Oh yeah, there's plenty of reasons why we shouldn't be able to do this, but it's just some feathers. We've got that. There uh, it is. Oh, there you go. Hey, we've got the ability to use those uh, ground traps and baits that uh, chosen set up. Yeah. But they just take a long time. This was just another method to double our time spent. Yeah, so we, we've we just seen this here. And I don't know who set this up. Uh, the Uncrafting Grinder from Cyclic, which is kind of what you'd expect, really. And I noticed there were some feathers kind of in here. Uh, so I had to look through the recipes. And these wooden torch arrows that you can get from loot chests. Uh, if we look at the recipe, you see it's made from a torch and a feather. So uncrafting them, you get feathers, which means we can upgrade our our fans uh, because each of these needs um, needs feathers. So this is this is excellent. This is, <laughs> we we don't have to do the chicken thing. Bye, chickens. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. See you later. You won't uh, give me any get eggs anyway. I can eat the chicken, but that's about it. All right. Thanks, chickens. It, it was fun while it lasted <laughs> having a chicken farm. Okay, so I'm about to enter. I've got the Wither Charm. We, I'm about to put this on. And Nemson and I don't know if this is uh, going to turn this on or off. There's the RF tools thing there already. Uh. Oh, and that is... Oh, wow. That is definitely... Okay. Um, so we do need a, a small on-off thing, don't we? Yeah, and so I... Now we would turn it off with a lever. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> that. Oh, my days. Um, oh, um, interesting. Oh, interesting. So we have a little bit of a, a blockage there, actually. So we might need to add another fan 
just on that little, on the section just behind the cage over there. Because they're getting trapped on the cage. Yeah. Can we put well, the cage one it. block lower down? I don't know. I don't know if that... That's the next test then. Okay. Um, I'm going to not disable everything. I'm going to take... Oh, if I take this redstone signal off here, then it's going to start spawning again. Then I'm going to put a lever on it for a few seconds. Yeah, okay. Just to stop it. And I think you should be able to bring it one block down. Uh, you should be able to take it out now. And then bring it one block down and see if it spawns them on top of the spawn or not. Hang on. I'm, so it, let is the fans there, do all the work. Have you got a lever on it then? A lever? Is it off? The actual cage? Now everything should be off. The cage is off because I put a lever on it, yeah. Okay. Do you get the stone back? I hope you get the shard back. I bet you've already tried this, haven't you? I think so. I believe so. Um, <laughs> we're better because while well, you're about to find out, are we? Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Look, I can I can shift click it out. Look at that. Shift clicked it. That's good then. Okay. Yeah. So now I you thought... should be able to break that. Yeah. Okay. And try it, try it one block lower. However, uh, it is going to start spawning straight away. Let well, let's put. Can you go underneath but you've got, and put? You've uh, got the charm still, yeah. I have, I have. But if you put the um. Lever is on, so it should be inactive. Okay, so that's should. that's gone in. That's gone in. That's done its thing. Okay, I'm going to turn it on, and we'll see if they spawn above it or not. Yeah. They may also try and spawn below it, so we need to yeah. fill in the gaps and all that. Well, this is so looking... is that safe? Yeah, that is safe. Okay, so I'm going to remove that. I'm just going to turn on the fans uh, to just clear the room. Good plan. And we just need to set up a um, a knot gate for the last transmitter. Yeah. And I will figure that bit out very soon. Excellent. And there. Okay. Now if you switch it. Oh! I'm right. ringing in my ears and an yeah, explosion. Yeah, it's, it's one of the... Bosses. Yeah. Ah, okay. now we may have a bit of an issue, actually. Um... We might have to separate the mob masher because right now, and um, because everything's turned off, the mob masher is off, but there's still some mobs in. Okay, good plan. So we need another set of switches. Yeah. To delay, uh, yeah, to turn that off separate. I think I think it might be easier, yeah, than to set up a delayed system. No problem. That's easy enough sorted. Ace. So, it so. is done. Yeah. And it's tested. Now we, we need have to show, show it off a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Right. Inside, it's looking beautiful. It's looking nice, yeah. It's it's looking far too good for these mobs that we've been slaying. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's inside the range of the torch, so we don't get any mobs spawning. Correct. The only way to spawn the mobs is this soul cage. Yeah. And we've got it all set up on a couple of switches so that everything turns off like it is now. Yeah. And turns back on again at the flick of the switch. Just stay there a minute. I'm just going to test it. Oh, you got out just in time. Damn uh, right I did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be in there with that on. Because, yeah, this, the mob masher works on, on, on us as well. Works on everything. Um, and down here as well... Um, We've got all of the RF tools stuff set off, so this is all wireless. And then we have um, oak trim, kind of connecting our storage drawers. And we have like er er anything that's not in one of these storage drawers is basically just going to get voided, uh, so we don't have to deal with anything. And all the XP is getting voided as well because we don't really need any of it. We don't mm -hmm. need so these redstone receivers are on two different channels. Channel yep. 1 and Channel 2, so we're operating things slightly separate. We came to the conclusion while testing that we needed to be able to turn the fans and the grinder off separately yep. to turning the mob spawner on. Yeah. Uh, so I'll test that out now. That's good looking. There's a boss in there. One of the hearts has gone, I think, or two hearts now, nearly. There's going to be two hearts when them bosses die. Well, they, I don't think they always drop hearts, though. Fingers well, we'll, crossed. We'll see. We'll see. It's taken a while to kill them. 
Yeah, they are, well, actually, because System's on as well, is it? Yeah, he's still on. Because he's spent a lot more time, uh, like, just AFK and, and whatnot. His, uh, his level, level, yeah, his, uh, he brings yeah. it up. He raises it quite a lot, so... <laughs> so some of those bosses will have a good, like, 60, 70 hearts. Oh, my days. I'm glad I've got the Arrows of Dread. You can just kill them off in 60 seconds. Uh, it's still going, that one over there. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's, let's say that was a long enough test. Now... It stops spawning, the grinder carries on. That one's not getting pushed up here. There we and go. And soon after it, all that finishes, so we can turn the fans and grinder off. There we go. It's a fail safe. Good. Now, how many? We didn't get any hearts. You no were right. hearts. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. And 191 <laughs> skulls. <laughs> oh, my days. 190. Just, just for those few minutes. Yeah. I'm going to put mine in there. That's 321 schools. That's over 300 with the bosses. Yeah, I think I think we're all right. I, I think we don't need to turn it on again. Now that's it. Done. <laughs> that's it. Who needs 300 with the bosses? Well, maybe we do. With all the nether stars no, we're going to need to progress in the pack, yeah, yeah. maybe we do. Uh, but that is it for today's episode, folks. It is, indeed. So thank you, Hector, for letting me latch onto your project. No, thank you, Nansen, <laughs> for helping out with all of the, the RF tool stuff. It was a natural progression from my uh, makeshift uh, mob farm over in the fortress to this epic, speedy skull snatcher. Yeah. Uh, and we did need the basic rudimentary one in order to make the epic one a thing because of the soul shards mod. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's all built up to this, and now we just need to get the group together to do some Wither Boss fights in the very near future. Yes, that would be excellent. So thank you for watching this episode. We will see you in another episode of the Cobble yep. very soon. It's a goodbye from me. And it's a goodbye from him. <laughs> see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>